and the truth behind Chris and Christ. Let's say I wrote it in English UK dialect, and I wrote same book US dialect. I wrote same book. Australian dialect, is that one book or different books? But the reason I was asking no, you is not, it's not, So I explained it, yes? It's a different group. Yes. So you, but the, but the, the thing is still the same. There's not just one where all of the words have been the same since the, the words is the same. 90, 90. Well, no, the meaning, you know, remember you said the meaning is the same. The, same. the meaning is yes. has been the same, but yes. the words have not been the same. No, all the words. You know all the words. It's not, not all the words. It's 98% are the same. Okay. 98% are the same. Even if it was 99999999, yes. it's the same. You can't claim perfection if it's not perfection. And uh, the claim you, is that the uh, Quran has been first perfectly preserved. preserved. Yes. You know, when we say preserved, what do we mean by that? You understand the context? The meaning? No, you don't get the point. When we say the Quran is perfectly preserved, we mean since Prophet Muhammad passed away, since Allah revealed to the Quran to the Prophet Muhammad. For so the, since the, he passed away, let me explain it to you. Let me explain to you. From the day Allah revealed the Quran to the Prophet uh -huh. until now, the Quran, the one Prophet Muhammad sallallahu peace be upon him, taught us was never changed. Wait, 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 the camera is increasing. Was I'm never changed. No, it doesn't matter. Because you are just my brother. You know that. We are friends. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you understand? Yeah. So when we say Quran is perfectly preserved, yes, it's preserved. You know why? Because if you go to all Muslims now around the world, they will say to you, Quran, we have the same. Now, I show you this Quran, yes? Go to US, they will show you the same. No, another one. That's why we say the Quran is perfectly Pakistan, preserved. Same. Egypt. Everywhere you go, same. I get, I, the no, seven dialects. You've explained it. You, yeah. You've explained it. Yeah. That some words are different, but you're, you're speaking out both sides of your mouth. Yeah. Just, yeah. The same way this Christian was speaking out both sides of the mouth with God being one, but it's also three persons. It's the same. That's the same. No, it's not it's the, the same. same. Logical fallacy. That one is not logic. It doesn't make sense logic. Shall I give you now evidence? Go on. Do you believe Jesus is the way? The way. Jesus is the way, yes. Uh, you said the Bible says it, yes. So yes, I, believe it. I also believe that. Okay. No, just you believe that. I believe Jesus is the way. But Moses but, is the way. But, but the way to who? Let me come to the point. Jesus is the way. Prophet Muhammad is the way. Prophet Moses is the way. Otherwise, if they are not the way, what is the point of God of the Bible sending Prophet Moses to Israelites? What is the point of God sending Isaiah well, to his people? What is the point of Johanna and Prophet, uh, Prophet and Jonah? God sending to his people. So you that means they are all the way. Prophets are all the way. To, to show the way. Yes. Otherwise, God is that, pointless. That's, that's God not, to send them. That's not, that's okay, not now let's come to the point. Okay, according to Christians, Jesus is the way. The truth and the life. And the life. Do you know when? Before he ascended to the heaven. No, I can give you evidence. No, I can give you evidence Please. from the Bible. The Gospel of John, I know for her, I don't want to, to quote. I'm quoting the, the, the Bible. You know, I, I love know, reading the Bible. You know that. I, I, and I love you for reading the Bible. Yes. I'm going to get so you can read the Bible. Okay. What was it? John, yep. chapter 16, verse 13. Please read it for me. Yeah, see, when you say John 16, 13, I'm going to read the context of this. So I'll read from Yeah, 11. whatever you want to. Yeah. But I'm on John 16. Whatever you want to. Context. John 16, 13. All this I have told you so that you will not fall away. They will put you out of the synagogue. In fact, the time is coming when anyone who, who kills you will think they are offering a service to God. They will do such thing because they have not known the Father or me. I have told you this so that when their time comes, you remember that I have warned you about them. I did not tell you this from the beginning because I was with you, but now I am going to him who sent me. None of you ask me where are you going. Rather, you are filled with grief because I have said these things. But very truly I tell you, it is for your good that I am going away. Unless I go away, the advocates will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. When it comes, it will prove the world. It will prove the world, the world to be in the wrong about sin and righteousness and judgment. Okay, stop there. So what it says? This it says the advocate will not come until Jesus goes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So now I want you to go to John 16:7. The Gospel of John. I'm not even going to 13, I no, 13. Uh, okay. When he, the Spirit of Truth comes, it will guide you into all truth. Yes. Will not speak on his okay. Own. Stop there. That's what I want, brother. Okay. What it says there? Who the Spirit of the Truth, when he comes, he will guide you to where? 
You will get it where? According to this verse? It's all the truth. Thank you. So if Jesus is the way and the truth, that means Jesus guided you. Why did Jesus need another one person to come and guide you? Okay, good. I'm that glad means you, Jesus I'm glad you asked. was I'm glad the you way. Asked. And that's why I read all okay. of it. Did you listen okay. to what? The context? Yes. What do you remember about the story that I read? What was the context of it? No, the context is Jesus talking about, predicting about the spirit of the truth. No, the, the, the context was him predicting about his crucifixion and he said that he's going to go away and he said that they're sad because it's going to go away okay. and he told them it is better okay. for you when yes. I go because I'm going to send the advocate. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're not, are you getting what I'm trying to say? The verse I want to, John chapter 16 verse 13, Jesus said the advocate will guide you to all the truth. Do you, so do, my question do, do, is... Do you know what verse, the verse 14 uh, says? No, let me come to the point. No, but it's, no it's, it's, we it's, have it's to, to no point. i want to prove to jesus was only the way his time on earth do, do after you, do jesus you, do you know what verse 14 is I've, I've, I've kept this i've been trying to get to Did it you allow me to speak all right you speak and i'll get to verse 14. okay so what i'm trying to prove is jesus was the way only his time on earth the proof is the comforter is the way and the truth to God after Jesus ascended. The verse is here, not me saying, is Jesus saying, he said, when the advocate will come, he shall guide you to all the truth. So, so now what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, if Jesus is the way and guided you to all the truth, why he needed another comforter to come and guide you? That means Jesus was only the way his time on earth. Okay, According to this verse, not me saying. So this now verse, let me come to the point. I'm still on this verse. Can I finish okay, okay. this verse? You finish, okay. Remember, we talk about the comforter. Okay. He will glorify me. Yes. Because it is from me that he will receive what he will make known to you. Okay. What's your point about this verse? You, verse 13 said yes. that but when he, the spirit of truth, comes, yes. he will guide you into all the truth. Yes. He will not speak on, on his own. Yes. He will speak only what he hears and he will tell you what is yet to come. Yes. That's what verse 13 says. And your point was, and, was point? and your point was that yes. this verse shows that Jesus did not fully fulfill. There was more. It, it's only, it's only after Jesus the evidence comes. is there. He said he will guide I'm you. Saying back, I'm saying back okay. to you. You okay. agree with what okay. I'm saying, what I'm saying that you're saying? Yeah. 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 Carry on. Okay, good. And now I'm saying. Alaikum salam. And now the, the next, the very next verse that, that you forgot to mention yes. talks about how the spirit and he is one. Nothing that the spirit will tell will tell the disciples will not be from God. Look, Who do you it? think the spirit is? The Holy Spirit. No, it's wrong. Okay, then. Now again, I give you a verse. To tell now me, from the Bible. Tell, tell me. Perfect. I'll give you the verse. I love it, but, 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 Go to Bible John, verse. the Gospel of John, chapter 16, verse 7. Still, yeah. And tell me what it says. I read that already. No, what it says. I read that already. What did I Jesus that say? That, no, repeat that one. I read that. Okay, start. repeat that one, what it says. But now I'm going to him, he sent me. None of you ask me where I'm going. Rather, you are filled with grief because I have said these things. Okay. Very, very truly, I told you. Yes. It is for your good that I'm going away. Unless I go away, the advocate will come to Repeat you. that one. It is for your good that I the go away. The spirit of the truth will come one. When? What's the condition the spirit to come? The spirit of the truth. For, for, for him to go away. No. What's the condition Jesus to go? Yes. But you, Can this? You, you know, talk about the, the crucifixion. No, I want the context you of this, this brother. Yeah, that, that, I don't want the crucifixion. You want, you want the context? That's the context. I want the context of That's this verse. That's the context, really. He's I will repeat for you. He's talking about his crucifixion. He's telling them I'm, I'm not. I away. don't care about crucifixion. But if you don't care about okay, crucifixion, let's you say crucifixion. Am I asking about crucifixion now? Yes, Polite. you are, because that, that's exactly what we really said. Did I mention crucifixion, sister? You said John 16:13. Sister, this, did I mention crucifixion? You said you said John 16, right? No. John 16. You just tell me. Okay, you just tell me. That's why I give you the context. You just tell me. <laughs> what Jesus said, I will repeat for you. If you don't understand, I will explain to you the context. Do you want context or not? I'm not even reading the context. I'm saying what Jesus said. Do you want context or not? Yes or no? Because now you, you say you want context, when I give you context, you say Okay, not okay. The, the context, context is in, in Will you answer? Yeah. Will you answer what, when I ask you? Ask the way. Okay. Jesus said, the spirit, the comforter will not come unless I go. So the condition of the comforter to come, Jesus must go, then the spirit can come, which means Jesus and the comforter cannot be at the same time on this planet. That's on this not what I mean. path. Yes, he That's said, unless I go, no, there is, it is better read, for you. Read again, please. It is better Let's for read. you. Okay, read for me. Repeat but, one okay. more time. I want the camera for the, the sake of the camera. Repeat. Ask the question. Uh, the, ask the question. When Jesus said, unless I go, what, what, what read, does that mean? Please read what when it says. Jesus, I'm reading it back to you. Read what it says. Read, read what? No, one more time. Read the verse. I, I've read it four times. Okay, I will repeat the verse one more time. Jesus said. Don't look the camera. Talk to me. This is what you man do. 
You man play for your audience. Talk to me. Talk to me. You're talking to me. Don't play for your camera. I know you got a microphone. You're a general. You've worked your way up the hierarchy. You can now debate on camera. Yo, you're the big boss man. But treat me like a person. That's my name. I told you. Okay. Don't debate me. That's my name. Okay. okay. We build a we build okay. friendship. We're okay. friends. Would you so tell me what is properly. the condition the spirit to come then? You tell me. According to the verse. The condition is the crucifixion. That's what we're trying to tell okay. you. Okay. Crucifixion. Then what happens after the crucifixion? You explain it to me. Resurrection. Pray. And Jesus. then what happens next? Ascension. Ascension. Jesus said what? What? No, 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 no. Oh, okay, your point says was not until after the ascension that that that, 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 that Holy Spirit came. Yes, yes that, that's correct. The spirit of the truth. But remember, you, brother, you, you said actually that I'm, 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 I'm reminding you what you said. You said actually that verse, and you were going to tell me why the that, that, that the, the spirit is not the Holy Spirit. I'll repeat for you that one more time. Not, that, what, that you don't tell me that, brother. I'll repeat for you politely. Yeah? Jesus said, "The spirit of the truth will not come unless I go. Then it will come." Condition is what? The spirit will not come unless Jesus goes and then who comes next? The spirit. Okay. So my question to you, my question to you, was the Holy Spirit with Jesus his time on earth, yes or no? Do you remember when, the, when Jesus no, got just baptized? Answer. Yes, yes is the answer. Thank you, and going, yes. And I'm going to give you... And what's the condition, the spirit of the truth to come? Jesus must go and then the spirit but of that's, the truth that's will come. So this one cannot be the Holy Spirit. Do you know why? Because Jesus said the spirit of the truth, the comforter, will only come when I go. And this Jesus, which means Jesus and the Holy Spirit, cannot, the spirit of the truth cannot be there on this earth at the same time. Do you know why? Because in many occasions, the Holy Spirit was there with Jesus. So I want you to tell me if you have the Holy Spirit, who is the comforter? Because it's not the Holy Spirit. Okay, that, now do you want to reply? Can I, can I speak now? Yes. Yeah, thank you. So you've misunderstood yes. the condition for the Holy Spirit to come. Yes. I'm going to, to explain to you how. You think the Holy Spirit has to come means Jesus cannot exist on the earth. And those two people cannot exist. It's like you think they are, I don't know, um, water, and, water and fire. They can't be in the ships at the same time. Yes. One has to go. To one, that, that's the condition you've laid out. Yes. That, according that, to the that, verse, that, not that, me. No, according to one verse. But in the context... If, oh, no, thank you. You at least said according to one verse. Yes, really, really, thank you. In the entire chapter, if you read just one verse, you can mistake anything. If I pick up the Quran and open it to a verse and read it, I cannot understand it because I don't have the context for it. It's easy for anyone to pick up verse. I give you the verse, the context, the verse says no, no, the verse, not me. The verse is not the context. The context is the chapter in the book. It's okay, what does the that. verse say? Remember what I'm saying? The verse says. Yes. That, but very true. When will the you, spirit come? Tell me. And so ask okay. one question at a time. Okay, I don't yeah. do the bit tactical like okay, jumping yeah. away. No, I'm not jumping. You can speak. Time. Okay. But very truly, I tell you, it's for your good that I am going away. Yes. What does that mean? What, what, what does that going away mean? I'm going away. What, what, He's going to heaven. But we have to read before. In verse 5. You read whatever you want. I just want you to read that verse, what it says. Okay, see, if you only want the context, to, you, I just explained to you. You said you it's a crucifixion. The okay, the context. You can't explain the okay, context. Okay, I will say what you said. No, we don't I understand have to. your context. You Please. said the context is about the crucifixion. Mm -hmm. Next is about the resurrection. Next. No, 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 okay, no, no, no. According you, to you. You, okay, you okay. asked me what comes next. Okay, what comes next? Okay, the context is about the crucifixion. And then what happens? Okay, resurrection. What happens next? An ascension. After the ascension, the condition the comforter has to come is Jesus must go away. And if Jesus, in order the spirit, the comforter to come, Jesus and the spirit cannot be away. at the same time. I'm glad. You, okay, good. I'm Thank glad you. you. Going away, ask you what going away was. You didn't quite explain. I will explain what, what it means. Going away means the mission is complete. It's going away where? Going away means it, his mission is complete. That's you know what? Why, when he says going away. Yes. Okay. So now I'm asking. If that's... Let, let, let me finish. I didn't finish that for you. Now you're contradicting, brother. You're just... Okay, yeah. carry on. I will listen. Go, going away, yes. it means in the context of the chapter, he's telling them, I'm going to die. But I'm that's going away. Going. That's what happened. He's, no, before he's telling them, I'm going to. I'm going to Jerusalem to get to die. That's what he's telling them. Read the, read the chapter. Wait, wait. I'm read going, going away. I'm going, well, I'm telling you what going away means, to die. Thank you. So now are you to saying, die. okay, now now are you saying when Jesus died, the spirit, the comforter no, came? No, that's not what Thank I'm you saying. then. That's, that's wrong then. That's that, your interpretation is wrong. You, how can it be wrong with this? That's the one. Let saying. me repeat what you said. You said, 
I'm going away means the, uh, the crucifixion, yes? That he's going to die. So you see, Jesus but, but, said the spirit of the truth will not come that's unless not, I die. That's not is that what, what you that, said? That's what you're saying. I'm oh, telling you that. I'm telling you that. What does it mean? Wrong. You said I'm going away I'm means you, you die. You're Did you not say you're that? You're no longer listening. You contradicted you're, you're your own no, words. You are no longer listening. Okay, you're, I will listen to you. Repeat you again. Now, you are now performing for okay, the camera. Okay, I will listen. So meet up for the camera. Okay, I will listen. Hi, Muslims. How are you guys doing? Good to see you. I will listen. By the way, I'm praying for you. Hope you guys all come to Jesus. Firstly, okay. this guy thinks that going away means that the Holy Spirit and Jesus cannot be on this planet at the same time. He thinks there might be some kind of water and nice thing where if one comes and the other comes at the same time, they'll both combust. I don't know what it is, but that's not what the, what the Bible teaches. Your teachers, your dad was going to tell you that's what the, the, the verse means. That's not what the verse means. What the verse means is that Jesus has come for you and for me. His coming is for the salvation of all of our souls. And it wasn't after I was done. Now you're preaching. Spirit. Now yes, you're preaching. Because that's what you were doing. You were I'm not to preaching. You were talking to the camera. I'm so talking to, to the you the context. Okay. In the context, in the context, the context was Jesus. What's the context? I'm going away. What does I'm going away mean? Let me answer. What's the context? He was talking to his disciples. No, answer. What is the meaning of I'm going away? Tell me. I will listen to you. Can I speak? Yes. You explain to me. What is the meaning no, no, of no, no. Where Jesus when speak. Jesus said, I'm going talk. away? Your debate tactic is you try to keep someone on your point and you don't let them explain what they want to explain. And that's what the Muslims all do. They do this all the time with this for camera. When we speak, when the camera's not here, this brother... Nice Why you're not explaining? I love this brother. Nice, but when the camera's on, it starts, it starts to show. So for you guys, he's it's, it's a champion. Look at the microphone, the badge is on his face. He's a champion. But for me... Go ahead and explain. Answer, please. Explain what? What's your name? What's your, what's wait, brother, wait, wait. Explain what's your no, name. No, no, what's your name? 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 What's the conversation going on? It was about Jesus saying I was going away. Explain. What is the meaning of I'm going away? You explain to me. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. It's all right. What is the meaning? I'm not joking. I was listening. Go ahead. Brother, you tell me. You see. said, Jesus said, I'm going away, then the spirit will come. The context for Okay, what is the meaning of I'm going away? Die or going to ascend uh, in heaven? Can I speak? Okay. And when I speak, I don't want no interruption. I okay, want, I'll I give you two minutes, yeah? Time it. I want you to answer. Time I want, no, no, what's no, my no, question? You're not going to dictate what's what my I'm question? going to explain. No, what's my question? I'm going to tell you what I'm going to answer. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to say. I'm okay, going to I'll give you two minutes. For okay. the verse that you brought okay, up. Okay, I'll give you two minutes. The verse that I brought up was John 16, verse 7, and also verse 13. And in that context, Jesus was explaining to his disciples that he was going to die. He was going to go away, and he was not going to be with them anymore. Now, he's been the leader. Two minutes, yeah? No, you can it's speak. It's okay, you he's been the time for him. He's been the, he's been the leader all, for two years now, and his time is coming, and they don't understand it. Throughout the Bible, Jesus told his disciples many times that he's going to die, and they don't understand it. And in this verse, he was telling them that if I'm going away, but I'm not just going to leave you by yourself. Your spirit is going to come. Now, why was it important that Jesus died before the, the spirit and the Pentecost, after, after ascension? That's because the work of salvation wasn't completed yet. It's not until the crucifixion, the resurrection, and the ascension that the work was completed. When the work was completed, then the people are closer to God. You said, hey, look, Jesus is the way. You believe Jesus is the way. You can't speak two minutes. I'm you giving you two minutes. I'm waiting you to answer. Until now, you haven't answered. You believe, you believe Jesus is the way. Answered what? What, what going away means? I just explained what, what was my question? Means. What does going away mean? Okay, you said going away means dying, yes? Or ascension? What is the meaning? Explain. I'm, I'm waiting. You just I, talk. I'll time on to it, by the way. You just talk. Ten more seconds. I will listen. I'll give you five minutes, even. I just want you to answer my his question. His point is, his point for the Muslim is that Jesus and the Holy Spirit can't be on the planet at the same time. Or he doesn't believe it's the Holy Spirit. And I'm telling him that that is not true. Because at the baptism, the Holy Spirit landed on Jesus. At the baptism, there was a dog on them. So going away does not mean those two cannot be at the same time. It just means that the work of the salvation the work of the salvation that was not completed until the crucifixion, resurrection, and ascension, that's when the Holy Spirit can come. That's when the Holy Spirit and God, we believe the Holy Spirit is God. God and man cannot be together until the bridge was built and the bridge was the crucifixion. And that's what going away means, building a bridge between man and God. Sorry. Yeah. So now, two minutes he finished, yeah? Until now, he said, when Jesus said, what, what, what's my last sentence? I'll repeat. What's my last sentence? He said about going away means about the crucifixion, yes? Okay, let's come to the point. Jesus said the advocate, the comforter will not come unless I go away. According to his interpretation, going away means crucifixion, dying. Yes? So now he's trying to say the spirit of the truth, the comforter, 
will not come unless Jesus is crucified and then, and then dies Jesus. Say that, okay, you just said crucifixion. Said, said okay, now, if we say the crucifixion, it means going away about the crucifixion, that means you lying about the Bible and you lying about the Christians. Do you know why? Because Christians believe the spirit of the truth, the comforter, was not there until Jesus ascended to heaven. Jesus said the condition is, unless I go away, then who comes? The comforter. Going where? Where did he, where, what Jesus said to Mary and Magdalene in the Gospel of John, chapter 20, verse 17. He said, I am going to my God and, my, uh, and your God. Where is he going? Heaven. Is that, does that mean I'm going to my God and my, your God? Does that mean about the crucifixion? No. That means what? About going to heaven. So Christians, okay, well for the sake of argument, let's say the Holy Spirit is, and the Comforter is the Holy Spirit, which is, it cannot be the Holy Spirit. Do you know why? Because the Holy Spirit is part of the triune God. And the Holy Spirit is God. But Jesus said, Amen. the Spirit of the truth shall not speak of his own. What God, what God is that? The Holy Spirit shall not speak of his own, but what he hears from God. So are you telling me the Holy Spirit is God, but receives the command of God? Contradiction. The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the truth, the comforter can never be the Holy Spirit. Because Jesus said, in order me to go, in order the Holy Spirit to come, then who comes? The Spirit of the truth, the comforter. That can never be G uh, the Holy Spirit. So now I'm asking, for the sake of argument, who is the way? I'll let him land. Who is the way? No, no, no. You're not going to. You spoke. I didn't ask you a question. You just spoke. Did I finish so two minutes? Yeah, yeah. You went okay. over two minutes. I'll let okay. you. Don't worry. <laughs> Again? Yes, we're good to go. Um, so if your argument, once again, is not listening. Your problem is you're not listening to what I'm saying. You're arguing against something I'm not saying. You're arguing that Jesus and the Holy Spirit cannot be on the planet at the same time. And I guess you're saying that the Bible says that. And I'm telling you, that is what the Bible says, but you're not listening. So we're just going to let that go. But you mentioned earlier about the Holy Spirit and Jesus being one. The verse that I read earlier, hopefully uh, it was captured, or showed that. He said in verse 14 of that verse, John 16, 13. It was your verse, by the way. This was, was a Muslim that knows the Bible, so praise God for that. Hopefully we'll learn more. John 16, 13 was the verse that you wanted. Yes. For you, when he, for when he, the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak on his own accord. He will speak only what he hears and he will tell you what is yet to come. The next verse that he, he forgot to mention, the next verse, the very next verse says, he, so we talk about the spirit, he will glorify me. The me is Jesus. The spirit will glorify Jesus because it is from me that he will receive what he will make known to you. So I'm just pointing out, you said the Holy Spirit is just the one, and the verse, the very next verse agrees with you. So thank you for testifying. Testifying what? That Expl the Holy Spirit and Jesus are one. Are one, according to you, yes? Yes. Yeah, I, 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 are I, I, done? I, according to the Bible, yeah, I'm done. I, I don't need to explain, that's what I have to say. Okay, so now, watch out here, yeah? Who is the way? Jesus is the way, the truth, and thank the Thank you. Life. Who is your God? Who's, who's my God? Who is your God? Jesus is Lord. Who? Tell me, three Jesus, of them. Jesus is Lord. Who else? No, Jesus is Lord. Jesus. No, who is your God? I'm telling you, Jesus is Lord. Is God the Father your God? Yes. Is the Son, uh, Jesus the Son your God? Jesus is Lord. Is the Holy Spirit your God? All praise to the Most High. Thank you. Who is the way? Jesus. Jesus. Do you believe you, you all have the same God? Hmm? Do you believe you all Christians have the same God? Do I believe that all Christians? No, I don't. You all have the same God? No, I don't. You have different God. But I believe that everyone that says that Christians is fully the same no, God. No, do you believe all God. humans have the same God according to oh, you? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, there can only be one God, one creator. Okay, that God is what? God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So now I want you to tell me who is the God of Jesus. I want to hear from you. Jesus is not created. Who is the God of Jesus? He was not created. He's God. God cannot be created. Jesus has a God. Wait, wait, brother. Relax. Jesus has a God. Are wait, you denying? Wait, wait, wait. Are you, when you say God, are you asking, asking for his creator? Who is the God of God? Jesus, the man? The one that you worship, the God I worship. Who is the, wait, wait. Who is the God of Jesus, the man? God. Who is God? God the Father, the Son, or the Holy Spirit? All of them are God. There's only God. No! See, this is, this is oh. what? This is He's what? He's lost Muslim. now. This is the He's truth. lost now. Can I speak? The sister, do you understand what I said? You can, can, uh, you can stop that with me speaking. Sister, I'm, I'm waiting until you, you, you five minutes, minutes, yeah? 
My question to you is... Five minutes. Wait, I'll repeat for him. Five minutes, yeah? Five minutes. You tell me... I don't know the tactic of ask the question and then wait for the thing and then if they can't Sister, who is your God? God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Who is my God? Only God. One pass, one. I've done. I've had this conversation enough with Muslims. Who is the God of Jesus? Give him time. Who is the God of Jesus? God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Come talk. Speak five minutes. Okay. First of all... First Ten of minutes. All, first of all, first of all, I've had this Trinity conversation a lot. We've done this off camera, we've done this on camera, we've done this before camera. Muslims do not understand and they will never understand if they become Christian. I don't think it's going to be wise for me to explain to you, but I'm going to explain for the sake of your audience because there might be someone out there that wants to, that actually wants to, I've open my wants to understand. So, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Three persons, one essence. It's important to understand essence in the category. A car's got wheels, a car's got doors, a car's got a boot, it's got windshield, it's got screens, but all of them together make a car. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit make God. That's the category. There's only one creator. There's only Christianity is not a polytheist polythe religion. We are monotheists. Only one God. But for Muslims, they can't seem to understand the fact that God is willing to be able to humble himself enough to enter the earth. And the reason Jesus was worshipping God was just an example to all of us of how to worship God. He humbled himself and became the image of the invisible God so that we can know the right way to be in this world. Now, he was not violent. He did not attack his enemies. Actually, he loved his enemies. When the Romans came to crucify him and one of the disciples got violent, he healed the person that got the hair chopped up. Karun, go on. I'm listening. I want you to answer my question. I'm not talking until you answer. My question to you is simple. Who is the God of Jesus? I'm not going anywhere. Until you answer, then I can talk. God. Who is God? What God? God the well, Father, we, the Son, or the Holy if Spirit? We, if you agree that there's only one God, you asked me, that was the first question to me. There's only one God. That of, of, not just of me, of you, of everyone. It's that same God. You're how, not getting how, how can there be a Your God, God is God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Simple. Who is the God of Jesus? Is God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, or only now, God the usually, Father? Usually, usually the tactic. The I'm, asking, the tactic I'm not talking to, until he answers. They're not going to understand it. The, Look, usually, simple. Usually, simple. Usually, and also remember that they're surrounded by the way. I know the cameras can't see it, but there's a bunch of good things around you. That's the tactic of the Christmas corner. It's to corner you, surround you, and add more cameras and microphones. It's the tactic. Brother, brother. My, my, my people is God. Respect him. Respect my, him. My, 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 my people is Brother, what did I ask you? I don't need, I don't need back. What did I ask you? My Look, brother, do not answer. I've answered this question. What did you answer? <laughs> Who is the God of Jesus? God, God the Father, the there Son, the Holy only, Spirit. There is. is this question is, who is the God of Jesus? Which my one? Answer, Which one? My answer is, there is only one God. What God is that? God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, so the God of Jesus, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Is that what, what, what? Are you saying I'm the saying God, God of God, Jesus? God, God the Father, the so are you Spirit. saying the God of Jesus, the man, is God the oh, Father, no. the Son, and Jesus, the Holy Spirit? Jesus, Jesus was very clear. When Jesus prayed, he prayed to the Father. I did not ask you pray. He prayed to the okay, Father. Okay. That's who he prayed to. He and who do you to pray to? Father. Who do you pray to? God. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All three. And Jesus prayed to who? The Father. Thank you. <laughs> who is the way? Jesus. Thank you. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. And thank you. And like I said about, about who the is the God of Jesus? The, who is the God of Jesus? The Trinity. Who is the God of Jesus, sister? Let's, let's talk about God of Jesus is let's only God the Father. His God is God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes. Okay, Jesus said what? Our God. I repeat for him. Will come to man deep. The Gospel of John, chapter 20, verse 17. Last question I'm asking. All of them. No, no, no. You've asked you know the Bible. You've asked all the questions. Last let question. Me, let me ask you one You want question. to talk about salvation? I want salvation now. Salvation. You lied about salvation. You've asked all the questions. You let want to talk about me, salvation? Let me, ask, let me ask you one question. I'll prove salvation is wrong. So he doesn't want to answer any questions. Okay, you ask me and I will ask you as well. Talk to me about Mohammed. Okay. Okay. Talk to me about Mohammed and the pedophilia scandals. Explain that for your people. So now you're changing the topic. Yes, because that's the tactic. <laughs> the tactic is He's if, changing you're the topic. Able, if you're not able to reply and they're not listening to you, you have to go back to them. Ask He's them changing the topic religion. now. 
Shall I explain to you that one? Ali, would do you, you explain what to do you, me? What do, you, what do you want to talk about? I don't mind. We want to talk about salvation. No, Let's talk so, about salvation. So, no, I want to talk about salvation and last one more question about okay. the topic I'm, about I'm the to, God I'm, of I'm, Jesus. I'm going to ask you about salvation. Yes. You want to talk about, I'm going to be asking salvation. the Salvation. I will give you what, top 100 reasons Jesus was never died, no, crucified no, no, and about, killed. We're talking about and salvation. died for others. So tell uh, what is the path, what's the path of salvation according to Islam? Yes, according to Islam, is you believe in Allah and all the prophets, you believe in the divinely revealed books, and you abide, you stay under the law of Allah, the rules of Allah. If you sin, if you sin, you repent, Allah forgives you. And if you die without repenting, depends on Allah. I cannot judge you. As long as you die as a Muslim, you will end up in heaven. So you have to be Let me give you, I'll give you the verse, yes. You have no, to no, 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 no. Same way you interpret to ask the question. I'm yes. not to ask the question. Yes. You have to be a Muslim yes. to enter heaven. So, yes. So without being a Muslim, without, without you cannot go Muslim, to heaven. Or what about the Ahmadiyyas? Would they go to heaven? Ahmadiyya, the, the question, we need to ask ourselves, are they Muslims first of all? Okay, so are they? I'm, I don't know. Uh, they are Muslims. not Muslims. And they're not Muslim because? Because they believe there is another prophet after Prophet Muhammad. And, and we, Quran Allah said there is no prophet after Prophet Muhammad. And, and you said you said earlier that there was there was Jesus, there was uh, Moses, all of these people in, in the Islamic book of prophets. We have to believe yes. If you don't, if you but, 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 wait, wait, but yes. then it stopped. It stopped at Muhammad. Does that mean that the world should have been perfect since Muhammad? Because God will only stop sending prophets when his work is done. That's what Jesus said. He said, I'm going to go and the spirit is going to come and be with you to do and the work. And do what? To, to do the work of what I'm doing now. Do preaching what? To, talking to you. Now, Even guide you all, to all the truth. You can't. That's why Prophet Muhammad came to guide you to all the truth. So, so there's all That's the, the truth, comforter's all work. The truth in Islam. And does all the truth include violence? What do you mean? Does all the truth include violence, like being, beating your enemy, killing it your enemy? Depends on the don't. context. During the battle, of course, you have you have right to defend yourself. So your your the path to salvation. So now let's come to the salvation. No, 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 no. The path to salvation, according to Islam, involves being a Muslim, believing in, the, in Muhammad being the last prophet, and choosing the violent way if you have to, if you have to, if you have to. But same as the Bible. A, as a Nigerian, no, 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 no. That's not what happened. As Shall a, I give you one a, violence verse? Let me, let me, let me Speak, let me speak, let me speak. As a, as a Nigerian, someone who's a Christian and in the north, the Christians are being persecuted endlessly by Muslims. And the justification is that Nigeria, the country, has to be a Muslim country by violence. So that's the part of salvation way that the Islam offers. Christianity doesn't do that. Our God does not believe that you change people's hearts through violence. Have you Our done? God believes that you change people's hearts through loving of Have you done? Have you done? I'm asking you, come. Who colonized you? Who killed you? Muslims or white Christians? Peach Christians? Peach Christians came. What's happening in, 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 in Nigeria, in West Africa? Niger, what's happening? Are they Muslims? This guy, he, he runs away. He wants to talk about salvation. Salvation. Can your enemy bring salvation? Who killed Jesus according to Christians? God's enemies. Can oh, I thought that's a dog, man. Do you know the difference? Yeah, I'm going to finish. So who wait, wait, I'm talking about So who brings who brought salvation for them? The enemies of God and the enemies of Jesus. What kind of logic gives you salvation comes from the enemy? If the salvation is a holy incident, who would deserve to do that? The disciples of Jesus. Easy way to hang him on the cross and kill him. Salvation. Yes? Otherwise, in the Bible, in the entire Bible, God never asked his enemy to sacrifice for him. Who sacrificed Jesus? The enemies. Example. Psalm chapter 50 verse 14 to 50 and, Deuter and, and, and Exodus chapter 28 verse 11. God always is asking his people and his followers to sacrifice for him. But did he ask the enemies? No. Who brought their salvation? From enemies. And guess what? Satan work. Satan's work. The Gospel of John chapter 13 verse 2 and verse 27. Who entered into Judas Iscariot, Satan. Why? To betray, in order to betray Jesus. So now salvation without, the, without Satan, without devil. Christians, are you telling me Satan is your enemy? 
and you bring, you believe Satan is devil, and devil can bring for you salvation. Yes, and he's the one who betrayed, who entered Jesus and Judas Iscariot to betray Jesus. And Jesus said, "What well, the reason behind the behind the crucifixion is an evil act." In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 24, and also the and the people who killed him, Romans and and soldiers and Jews, Jesus said, "What well, because of the crucifying him and murdering him." killing him destroying him punishing him cry making him cry was jesus said oh father forgive them they do not know what they are doing the gospel of luke chapter 20 34 20, uh, 20 23 verse 34 so also jesus said well in order your sins to be forgiven last one in order your sins to be forgiven what you need to be you need to get baptized without baptism your sins are not forgiven mark 16 16 and, and luke chapter 3 verse 3 and also in order your sins to be forgiven your heavenly father should forgive and you have to forgive others and then your heavenly heavenly father should forgive your sins so without forgiving others your sins are not forgiven the gospel of matthew chapter 6 verse 14 also in judgment day jesus will ignore christians the gospel of matthew chapter 7 verse 21 to 23 because of their evil deeds and god hates the evil doers psalm chapter 5 verse 5